but you weren't saved to die and go to heaven you were saved to be a temple of God you were saved to be a temple of the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstrott thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us Matthew 24 verse 25 behold what are these in red letters in your Bible yes. so who's saying this Jesus behold I've told you before if they shall say unto you behold he is in the desert go not forth behold he is in the secret chambers believe it not say believe it not. believe it not what is he telling us to believe not that he is in the desert or he is in the secret places other other portions of scripture say he's over here he's over there he who he who are we talking about let's read on believe it not say believe it not, believe it not. for as the lightning comes out of the east and shines even to the west so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be has this happened yeah. so we're in the day when we're not supposed to believe that he's over here mm -hmm. or he he who the Son of Man Jesus Jesus is not over here Jesus is not over there where is Jesus it's the right hand of the Father and when he comes the Son of Man comes it'll be everyone will know about it mm -hmm. yes. so it hasn't happened yet are you here yes. so where is Jesus right he's at the right hand of the Father he's not here he's not there he's not everywhere mm -hmm. are you here mm -hmm. okay what if I said that Jesus is not here I know a lot of people are saying oh he's here he's here he's here how many times have you heard that Jesus is here no believe it not am I scriptural to not believe that if somebody says it yes. what if I said to you that Jesus is not here but he sent from where he is sent another into the earth to be with you are you gonna hate me for it are you going to despise this ministry like some do because I say that so boldly Jesus is not here he sent another and who is the another that Jesus sent Holy Ghost. the Holy Ghost and it's his dispensation is it okay for me to say that the Holy Ghost is here yes. mm -hmm. that he the Holy Ghost is here yes, yes that's scriptural say that's scriptural. that's scriptural so tonight I'm gonna to be talking about what are you saved unto I'm not trying to irritate people I'm trying to expose you to what you are actually saved unto mm -hmm. here we see Acts chapter 1 and then let's look at verse 9 and when he Jesus had spoken these things while they beheld he Jesus was was this the real Jesus let me ask yes. Yeah, and when he had spoken these things while they beheld, physically looking at him, he, Jesus, was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight. They could no longer see him. Mm -hmm. His disciples and apostles were standing there. Jesus was received up into a cloud out of their sight, taken away. Right? Yes. And while they looked steadfastly towards heaven as he went up behold two men stood by them in white apparel which also said you men of Galilee why stand ye gazing up into heaven this same Jesus say this same Jesus, this same Jesus. some different Jesus no. some religious concoction of Jesus no this same Jesus which is taken up from you say from you, from you. into heaven so sh shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven has this happened yeah. 
so where is jesus still in heaven until this happens until the same jesus the real jesus say the real jesus, the real jesus. shows up well Jesus the real Jesus isn't here and he sent another to be with you the another is the Holy Ghost and the Holy Ghost is the one that's in the earth I was gonna say Jesus isn't here or there well he isn't here or there but he is there mm -hmm. you understand yes. the real Jesus sometimes you know you know this sometimes I hesitate to say things but I have to say them Jesus is not God in the earth today and I'm not arguing that he isn't God he's not in the earth today that's what I'm arguing Do you understand mm -hmm. Jesus is not God in the earth today the Holy Ghost is mm -hmm. and if you've got your theological reasoning twisted here you're gonna miss a lot of the things that God wants for you so Jesus is not God in the earth can you see how people might not like that yeah Jesus is not God in the earth today the Holy Ghost is is what is who is God in the earth today he's not only the another that Jesus sent but he is God very God first Corinthians 3 16 says what no you not that your body is the temple of God you are the temple of God the Holy Ghost where are you in the earth where is he in the earth he's God in the earth many of our religious problems can be traced back to this not receiving the Holy Ghost as God now stand back from your religious tradition for a second just peel it back pretend like you knew nothing what if I were to search the earth the whole earth I'm looking over the whole earth to find the true and living God in the earth what if I were to search the whole earth and look for the true and living God and I met the Holy Ghost because he's the only true and living God who's in the earth mm -hmm. are you here yes. would it be wrong for me to worship him no. no because I just met he is God yes we know all of the things about you know having to be born again all of those things I'm just, I asked you to set that aside I'm trying to prove a single point here mm -hmm. if he is God he's the only God in the earth would it be wrong for me to worship him sands all of your religious traditional belief and, and, and teaching that has told you not to think of the Father and Jesus sending the Holy Ghost did they know that the Holy Ghost is God do they know he's a person they're expecting us not to know him and meet him and worship him as God that's complete foolishness that's religious traditional garbage that blocks us from going where we need to go say where we need to go, we need to go. so many of our religious problems can be traced back to not receiving the Holy Ghost as God or worshiping him no doubt you've received him as an anointing or a force or a gift or an influence but you've not received him as a person as a self-aware living being who is God you haven't received him as God if you do receive him as God you would worship him if you worship him you will begin to know him as God are you here it goes both ways the fact until Jesus returns we are to follow the one that he sent we're to submit to the one that he sent and this pleases Jesus we're to obey the one that he sent we are to serve say serve yes. serve the one that he sent if I'm doing that I'm, I'm serving obeying God and submitting to God who is the Holy Ghost 
who is God in the earth today yes. all right but I've paid my dues this isn't the first time around the block for me I've been in some of the best camps with some of the greatest preachers and teachers and according to Hebrews 11 uh, Hebrews 13 7 it says we're to follow their faith and I do and have was brought up under and obeyed and I've been under their minute for years and years and years Kenneth E Hagan Kenneth Copeland dr. Ed Dufresne Charles Capps Norval Hayes Lester Summerall all good people right yes. most of them were faith preachers and teachers you understand and I'm no novice in this but I didn't get this message from them they never once not once out of the hundreds and hundreds of hours probably thousands that I was under their ministry did they ever say to worship the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today not once I didn't get this message from them I got it from God and the call of God led me here you got to understand their call was to preach a certain message a lot of it was to to develop faith in people right some were healing ministry somewhere but that was their call this wasn't their call it's my call I was led here by God and the call of God I was also led here by God and the angels of God and their operation in my life whether you whether you like that or not to bring you into the worship of him the Holy Ghost and how are you going to worship God if you don't know who he is how are you gonna worship God in the earth today if you don't know who he is and how are you gonna know who he is without a preacher so salvation you know don't salvation today and over the last few years anyway salvation is cheap it's very shallow it's die and go to heaven Christianity I mean that's the generalized question they ask. if you were to die today would you go to heaven and I get it I understand but that's not the point of salvation you're not saved unto dying and going to heaven if that were the case get it over already how many takers would you have I'm into the line up front you will receive salvation and die and go to heaven right now right here right now and the ushers will carry you out so my question I'm answering tonight is what are you saved unto what are you actually saved unto sure you die and go to heaven but that's that's like after everything that's forever after say forever after, forever after. that's not here and now that's not what you were saved unto but all over the world we have preachers giving altar calls for people to receive Jesus into their heart and it sets them off on the wrong path the Bible never says to receive Jesus into your heart it cheapens the gospel you don't receive Jesus into your heart the Bible says to believe on Jesus believe on what he did believe on who he is believe on that he was raised from the dead and where he is believe on the fact that he is at the right hand of the Father believe on the fact that he sent the Holy Ghost into the earth mm -hmm. the Bible never says to receive Jesus the Bible says to believe on Jesus the Bible over and over and over and over and over and over says to receive the Holy Ghost Say, believe on Jesus, believe on Jesus. Receive, the Holy Ghost. receive the Holy Ghost who are we receiving the Holy, the Holy Ghost and all of his power all of his stuff we receive him we should be good at receiving the Holy Ghost for who he is and what he does John chapter 3 verse 5 Jesus answered verily verily I say unto thee except a man be born of water and of the Spirit he cannot enter into the kingdom of God that which is born of the flesh is flesh that which is born of the spirit is spirit marvel not that I said unto thee you must be born again the wind blows where it listeth 
and now here's the sound thereof but canst not tell whence it cometh and whither it goeth so is everyone that is born of the spirit you are saved unto the spirit you are born of and into the spirit so you're saved unto the spirit are you getting this yes. you're saved unto knowing him unto worshiping him unto walking with him because he's the god in the earth today and people accuse me of all kinds of stuff i don't mind it anymore i feel sorry for them yes i am a christian yes i am born again i got born again at the age of 17. i knew the new birth in fact i i got born again and then i started the only friends that i knew at the time were fundamentalist baptist people so i learned all that stuff of the new of the new birth and all you know one saved all we all of that stuff mm -hmm. you understand and then i got filled with the spirit with the evidence of speaking in other tongues mm -hmm. speaking tongues all the time all the time say all the time all the time i'm a believer in the word i believe the word when the word says something i believe it i'm a believer i'm a christian i'm born again i'm filled with the spirit i'm a believer but say but, but. i'm something else i'm something that many are not i am a holy ghost worshiper i worship the holy ghost i'm all of those other things but now i worship the holy ghost say i was saved okay. unto being a holy ghost worshiper i have come to know him as god a lot of my brothers and sisters haven't right maybe they're still on the journey john 4 24 says god is a spirit and they that worship him that's me they that worship him i'm one of the they that worship him god the spirit they that worship him i worship him god the spirit the Holy Ghost is God he's the Spirit God I worship him mm -hmm. I'm something that a lot of my other people brothers and sisters aren't is this making sense yes. and like I said if you knew him as God you would worship him if you worship him you'd end up knowing him as God I've come to know him as God and therefore I worship him Luke 4 verse 8 and Jesus answered and said unto him get thee behind me Satan for it is written thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve who did Jesus say that we are supposed to worship the Lord our God well if we know the Holy Ghost as God here Jesus is saying that we should worship the Lord our God thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him say him yeah. him only shalt thou serve what if I know the Holy Ghost as God then thou shalt worship mm -hmm. but something happens to the believer when they start to worship the Holy Ghost you begin to be transformed into what you are called to be which is a temple of God you were saved to be a temple of God Jesus cleaned you up through his death burial and resurrection and you believing on him that you could receive the Holy say Holy Holy, holy Ghost he wouldn't come to you unless Jesus left do you understand mm -hmm. but you weren't saved to die and go to heaven you were saved to be a temple of God you were saved to be a temple of the Holy Ghost what know you not so when I asked the question what were you saved unto you were saved unto being something right not just dead and in heaven 
you were saved to being a temple of the Holy Ghost you're saved into being something actively being something what's that something a temple of the Holy Ghost well shouldn't you know him as God what does a temple do what is the temple for it's the worship of God somebody say, oh you're going to the temple what are you going to the temple for being supper soup kitchen no you should be going to the temple to worship God yes. well you are the temple what should your main function be worshiping God what God the God that's in the temple first Corinthians chapter 6 verse 19 what know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you which body you have of God we should worship the Lord our God and him only shall we serve now in meditating on this verse of scripture you shall worship the Lord your God I said things were gonna change for you right if I worship the Lord my God and something happens and him only shall I serve I worship the Lord my God and then all of a sudden things begin to change and him only shall I serve pretty start, start pretty soon you start to think Holy Ghost Holy Ghost Holy Ghost only he's the only God in the earth today are you here mm -hmm. I worship the Lord my God and him only shall I serve it's the result of worshiping the Lord my God when you worship him he does something to you that he only does to people that worship him you heard me say this before there are things he won't do to people who don't worship him or do for them he favors them these people that worship the Lord their God the Holy Ghost are new believers they believe something different they believe something new do you understand this mm -hmm. they believe something they didn't believe before mm -hmm. are you here yes you believe in a way you didn't believe before you're living in a way you didn't live before and he gives you access to things that you didn't have access to before you're treated differently by God I don't know you know I, I can just tell you the things that I know to be fact and truthful I've shown you scriptures right Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God if I do that and him only shall I serve he's gonna open up ways for me to serve him and walk with him that he wouldn't do unless I did the first part of that verse worship the Lord your God right mm -hmm. you're treated differently by God and the angels there are certain angels that won't do things for you unless you're a worshiper of God in fact after Jesus said that Luke chapter 4 said the angels came and ministered to him well if you worship the Holy Ghost what do you become you become a Holy Ghost worshiper and that changes you you be, you believe something different you become a Holy Ghost worshiper is a servant of the Most High God because what, what is the first part of being a temple serving in the temple is to serve in the worship of God mm -hmm. thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shall you serve yes. you're worshiping him and you become a you become someone that can serve him in a way that other people can't does this make sense yes. thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and this leads to thou shalt serve in a way that other people are frankly blinded to but it begins with using the words I worship you Holy Ghost but then that worshiping him takes over until you're only serving him it begins to consume your life it begins to consume your doctrine that's why I, I warn people if you like the way you are and you like your doctrine don't worship God the Holy Ghost <laughs> 
but I'm not telling you that I'm saying you need to and he will continue to change you into something you weren't before we go from glory to glory again I ask what are you saved unto you are saved unto being a temple of God a worshiper of God that's in that temple walking with him Proverbs chapter 9 verse 10 the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom now this word fear here you can also translate it into worship the worship of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom say it's the beginning, it's the beginning. so when you worship the Holy Ghost it's the beginning of wisdom it's the beginning of wisdom into something that you've never been into before mm -hmm. well I've never been into that before well now you're getting into it worshiping the Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost you begin to know him as God you begin to fulfill your function as a temple of God it's the beginning of serving God the Holy Ghost are you here the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge of the holy so worshiping God is the beginning and it leads to knowledge of the Holy One who is the Holy Ghost are you getting this yes. so you're saved unto worshiping God the Holy Ghost and learning how to know him and walk with him the Holy Ghost worship is a lifestyle that you learn to grow in Holy Ghost worship is learning to walk with him as God in the earth today right how do we know we walk well, by saying words by speaking in it is there any is can we increase in that mm -hmm. yeah Holy Ghost worship is a lifestyle walking with him knowing him and pleasing him pleasing who pleasing God who's in the earth and then glorifying God in your body and in your spirit which are God's what are you saved unto this seems a lot different than dying and going to heaven if you ask me will you die and go to heaven yes. of course but not right now right right now I, I wasn't I wasn't saved to die and go to heaven that's cheap and it's sad and it's trickery if you ask me it's trying using fear to manipulate people Ooh, if you died today would you go to heaven uh, uh, I don't know I'm driving home I'm gonna drive extra carefully right that's not faith we're not saved unto dying and going to heaven we're saved unto becoming a temple of the living God and learning how to walk with him and worship him as God in the earth today you're saved unto being actively being say actively being a temple of the living God not the dead God you might as well be the dead God if you're just gonna die and go to heaven right yes. because then you'd be dead too you could both be dead and in heaven but he's the living God a temple of the living God a living temple of the living God well I worship you Holy Ghost is the beginning of the greatest of all lives you could live and as you begin to worship him he will take you up and take you higher into the great things of the Spirit and you will know and you will see and you will do those things that I have prepared from the foundation of the world so keep going forward keep following me keep worshiping me and I will cause you to be the great things that I've called you to be we thank you for it Holy Ghost we worship you in Jesus name amen. amen if you have a tither and offering hold it in your hand and say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I worship you you are God in the earth today wealth glorifies you I'm part of you I'm your temple you said 
that this Latter-day Temple would be greater than the former. I thank you for it. I believe for it. And great things are happening to me now. In Jesus' name. Amen.